Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 30 for the year 2023, restructuring the Board of Directors of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority based on a presentation by the Prime Minister and the approval of the Cabinet. Chaired by Engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, the newly formed RIRA Board includes members, Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, the Minister of Industry and Commerce, the Urban Planning and Development Chief Executive Officer, the Economic Development Board Representative May Mohammed Ashour, Survey and Land Registration Bureau Director General Basim Mohammed Asai, Abdul Ghaffar Abdul Rahim Al Kohji, Mohammed Rajab Ayoub, Dr. Maher Abdul Aziz Ashar. The Board of Directors shall choose in its first meeting a Vice Chairman to replace him in his absence. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 31 for the year 2023, appointing an Undersecretary and two Assistant Undersecretaries at the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning, based on a presentation by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning and the approval of the Cabinet under the decree. Engineer Asim Abdel Latif is appointed as Undersecretary at the Ministry of Housing. The decree also stipulates the following appointments. Assistant Undersecretary for Resources and Information, Dunya Faisal Sarhan. Assistant Undersecretary for Housing Services Affairs, Fatma Ibrahim Khalifa al mannai Assistant Undersecretary for Engineering Affairs, Balsam Al-Ali Abdali Al-Salman. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 22 for the year 2023, appointing directors at the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning based on the proposal of the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning. The edict stipulates the following appointments. Haytham Hamad Sami Mohammed, Director of Communications. Maryam Juma Khamis Al Flaiti, Director of Beneficiary Services. Sheikh Hassa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Director of Strategy and Institutional Excellence. Mohammed Abdul Aziz Rashtan, Director of Projects Implementation and Follow Up. Iman Hassan Salman Al Abbasi, Director of Housing Finance. Ahmed Kamal Ahmed Al Sharaf, Director of Developer Affairs. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, topped the latest ranking of the Federation Equestrian International, the International Federation for Equestrian Sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser made his way to FEI top ranking following his success in claiming many international championships, including the World Endurance Championship and the World Championship for eight-year-old horses. According to the FEI Endurance Open Riders World Ranking, His Highness Sheikh Nasser was first with 320 points and Lenore Moreira from Portugal second with 248 points. The Royal Endurance Team's Jafar Mirza Abdel Nabi Nasser Hamad Al Qahtani ranked third and tenth respectively. His Highness Sheikh Nasser tops the FEI ranking. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Royal Endurance Team Captain, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa led the children's endurance race with the participation of His Highness's sons and daughter. Her Highness Sheikh Hashima bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a follow up by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The event is part of the championship of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for endurance races, organized by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation with the sponsorship of the Bahrain Petroleum Company, BAPCO, the Bahrain Jewelry Center, and Technogym in addition to the sponsorship of companies and institutions for the current season. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was keen to guide the riders in the 40-kilometer race. His Highness affirmed that such a race is part of the plan that was developed to instill love for the sport of endurance in the hearts of children in order to develop their skill levels in riding horses. His Highness Sheikh Nasser crowned his sons who are participating in the race where he crowned Her Highness Sheikh Hashima bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa his Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in addition to the coronation of a number of jockeys.
Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, his Highness's Endurance Championship kicked off organized by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation. The event is sponsored by Bahrain Petroleum Company, Babco, the Bahrain Jewelry Center and Technogym, in addition to sponsors of the current season. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed all the stables and jockeys participating in the international, local and qualifying races, noting that the competition will be fierce and exciting given the distinguished level and preparations of the vying participants for the trophies. His Highness Sheikh Nasser Endurance Cup will witness a 120-kilometer international race and a 100-kilometer local race in addition to local qualifying races for 40 and 80 kilometers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser ordered the allocation of three cars for the first three positions of the private stables race that will be held on Saturday in addition to the allocation of cash prizes valued at 32,400 Bahraini dinars for the winning jockeys placed between 4 and 20. The Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation will organize the best condition horse competition for the Saturday races with the support of Her Highness Sheikh Anoura bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, leader of the Al Fursan team. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga Holding, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Board Chairman of the Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company, GPIC Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed and members. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Oil, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Daina. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the efforts of the company's board of directors to promote the company's development. He stressed Noga Holdings' keenness to support the companies affiliated with it to achieve future visions. His Highness was briefed about the company's future development plans and initiatives to support the national economy and promote the oil and gas sector in accordance with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The GPIC chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad for his continuous support and keenness on the continuous implementation of the company's development plans. In the presence of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of Sheikh Munira bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Girl Gamer Bahrain Festival began, organized by Bahrain Esports Federation at the Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa Center. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure with hosting the festival, which is a unique event for its role in attracting girl gamers to take part in sports competitions and to develop their gaming skills. His Highness added that video games are popular among the youth and re they represent a large commercial market as a result of the high demand for them, which prompted the Bahrain Eve Sports Federation to fulfill the need of the youth to hold gaming championships and competitions. His Highness hailed the efforts of the Federation in organizing the festival and the role of the sponsoring companies and all the committees in the success of the event, wishing all the participants success. The president of the Bahrain Esports Federation, Hussein Al Kohiji, delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khaled for his support and to Her Highness Sheikha Munira for patronizing the festival.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with his Pakistani counterpart Bilawal Bhutto Zardari on the sideline of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of the Islamic Council member states. During the meeting, the two sides discussed the course of the historical relations between Bahrain and Pakistan and the fields of cooperation as well as the means to develop them to serve mutual interests. They also discussed the regional and international developments and issues of common interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Brunei Second Minister for Foreign Affairs, Dato Siri Stia Hajj. During the meeting, the two sides discussed the joint cooperation between Bahrain and Brunei across all fields, as well as issues of mutual interest. The Minister of Labor, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, met with the President of the General Federation of Trade Unions in Iraq, Sattar Danbous Barak. During the meeting, the Minister of Labor stressed the importance of such visits to exchange experiences and benefit from the experiences between brotherly Arab countries. He also briefed the Iraqi trade union delegation on the developments in the labor market in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the most important achievements at the level of labor, stressing in this context the government's keenness to support labor organizations to perform their duty to defend the interests and rights of the workforce. For his part, Mr. Sattar praised the Kingdom of Bahrain's experience in developing the labor market system. The Ministry Penalties Affairs and Agriculture Minister Wa'al bin Nasser al-Mubarak commended Bahrain Polytechnic students' cooperation with the National Mary Culture Center in building a project for smart farming ponds. The minister paid an inspection visit to take stock of the efforts made by polytechnic students in using artificial intelligence and building a project for smart culture ponds. A team of various academic disciplines among the graduates of the Polytechnic University in the field of artificial intelligence built a project for smart culture ponds in cooperation with the National Mary Culture Center. The latest technologies have been incorporated to measure the physical characteristics of the cultured water, which raises its quality as one of the main pillars in the success of fish production. Water plays a vital role in the project as an incubating factor for fish that live in large quantities in a specific environment and are rich in nutrients and biological and physical variables. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in the financial sector conference held in Riyadh with the participation of senior officials and decision makers in the finance sector to discuss the challenges and developments on the financial sector and the exchange of best relevant practices. The Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness on supporting priority promising sectors. He expressed thanks and appreciation to Saudi Arabia for hosting the conference. During the discussion panel held under the theme Shaping the Future of Global Money Flows, the Minister highlighted Saudi Arabia's positive economic growth, noting that Bahrain supports financial technology, innovation and digital transformation. The Minister asserted that the importance of continuing efforts to develop promising sectors, noting the importance of developmental institutions that encourage innovation, support capital and achieve economic growth. In the presence of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf bin Muhammad al Maouda, the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy, Dirasat, held a ceremony for the launch of the book, Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the ruler of Bahrain from 1932 to 1942, news and press coverage by researcher Saqr bin Abdullah as the culmination of an effort that the researcher accomplished before his passing. The book portrays the achievements of the late Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa through analyzing the content of the local and international press regarding his rule in that era, such as its coverage of launching projects and holding historical events in Bahrain's march, which highlighted the aspects of good governance during his reign. The book also reviews milestones in the history of the Kingdom of Bahrain during the discovery of oil, namely the launch of the first local press during that era, his visit to Britain, the inauguration of the first government hospital, and the construction of Glebia Palace. The Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan al naimi visited Kuwait's Ministry of Information on the sidelines of the 98th session of the Arab Media Standing Committee and the 16th session of the Arab Information Minister's Executive Bureau. Dr. al naimi and the accompanying delegation were welcomed on arrival by the Minister of Information and Culture and Minister of State for Youth Affairs in Kuwait, Abdurrahman Baddah al Under Undersecretaries, Assistant Undersecretaries and Directors. The Minister hailed the deep-rooted relations binding Bahrain and Kuwait, 
led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. He praised the long standing joint ties that are based on a long history and shared bonds of brotherhood. Dr. An Naimi toured the different facilities, departments, sections, and studios and praised Kuwait's media strides. He stressed the keenness of the Ministry of Information to enhance the cooperation and coordination with its Kuwaiti counterpart to further advance the bilateral relations and contribute to serving development and prosperity in the Arab and Gulf countries. The Kuwait's Minister of Information and Culture welcomed Dr. Anna Amy's visit, which reflects the solid ties praising Bahrain's media strides. He stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation between the ministries of information in the Arab and Gulf countries and directing their energies to that contributes of development and prosperity. The Bahraini Indian Business Forum was launched in the Indian city of Mumbai, organized by the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and in cooperation with the Federation of Indian Chambers of Industry and Commerce. The forum discussed ways of joint cooperation to increase the volume of trade and review investment opportunities between the two countries, in addition to utilizing the commercial opportunities available to the private sector to create strategic partnerships that serve economic growth on both sides. During the opening of the forum, the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Mr. Abdullah bin Aad al Fakhru, expressed pride in the historical relations and cooperation between Bahrain and India, stressing the possibility of expanding the cooperation through promising sectors, including information and communication technology, health, food, security, and education. For his part, the second Vice President of the Bahrain Chamber, Mohammed Abdul Jabbar al Kohaji, explained that the forum confirms the level of Bahraini Indian relations and the remarkable development, progress, and continuity witnessed in various fields hoping that the side meetings will be witnessing fruitful joint investment projects. Bahrain's National Influenza Center won the first World Health Organization Award for the Eastern Mediterranean region in recognition of its continuous participation in supporting surveillance activities and the exchange of influenza viruses with collaborating centers over the last two years, 2021 and 2022. This was announced at the conclusion of the third scientific conference and the sixth meeting of the Acute Respiratory Infection Surveillance Network in the Eastern Mediterranean region, which was held in the Sultanate of Oman. The WHO Award also recognized the center's active role and contributions, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic in supporting surveillance activities and the exchange of influenza viruses with centers collaborating with a Geneva-based organization.